The new supporter Tampa ordinance that requires companies that receive tax dollars to first source job openings to the pre-qualified unemployed in our county, and B, delay that learning credit checks on applicants except where required by law. And number two, would you recommend that the city's legal staff draft such an ordinance and support a process for final city council approval by November 1st? And number three, will you meet with Hope to discuss progress by October 1st? Let me start with the last question first, and I am with Harry. I'm going to dispense of all the niceties because we are happy to be here, and we all know that, otherwise, we wouldn't uh, be standing here today. Um, the last one about the uh, legal staff drafting ordinance, I uh, guess I would. Uh, yeah. it, the dates and the time frames that may have to be massaged a bit. Um, because, as all of you I'm sure know, we have a big party happening here over the summer. And <laughs> November 1st um, might be a little tight, having just come through uh, the, uh, the uh, convention in August. We don't know how busy our legal staff will be responding to any lawsuits that may or may not be filed. <laughs> so, the, 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 the answer is yes. Yes, the answer is yes. Might have to be um, changed a bit. And the, would you support a TAM ordinance that requires companies to receive tax dollars to first source job openings to be qualified and employed in our the, the incentives that are received now, and, and in the quick review that I did with the ordinance, because as many of you probably know, we just received it tonight, um, I was trying to read through it very quickly. And the, it's the in the ordinance that you had drafted, it talks about Tampa using these incentives, but those actually come from the state of Florida. So I think, as my, my fellow council member mentioned, we may need to go beyond Tampa and look at changing state legislation as well. So that would be something we need to look at as far as the state legislation um, goes for those tax incentives. And uh, again, that, that, maybe I can answer this in a different way, not around the ordinance, but around the principle behind the ordinance. The principle behind the ordinance, as we discussed in, in my office, I, I fully support the spirit behind the ordinance. Um, I've been, my fiance is a construction company. We've been employing you know, folks with a uh, criminal background forever. Um, so, so yes, I, I do support those types of programs. So let's yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 